Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I had a request uh, to look at DJI Terra point clouds and uh, how to merge them uh, and work with them. So uh, that being said, uh, you'll need a couple different softwares to be able to follow along. Um, Cloud Compare, uh, that's a, it's a free open source software if you navigate to the website, uh, you just click on the version that you need. Uh, I recommend getting the stable version uh, for whatever operating system that you're using. So that's the first one that you'll need. And then you'll also need this Pottery Converter. And um, this is just a really helpful link that I've posted here. So you can just click on the Pottery Converter. and download the Windows version or Linux version that you need. Um, that's pretty much it. Once you download it, you just extract it. I have mine put into my downloads. And uh, so that's what it is. I've created a new text document from where all that I do is I'll paste the code in and then adopt it to what I need it to look like. So uh, I'll go through this in a little bit, but that's just the prep. Oh, and also to be able to run the Pottery, the final version of what we're doing, you're gonna need to create an account, or if you have one, just log in and put your stuff onto a server, a web server. Um, you could use Apache. Uh, they kind of go through how to set up Apache and this XAMP as well. Um, but I found it just easier to use AWS service and then once you're in there, you can create a bucket. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. So you go to create bucket and if you're going to be sharing this publicly, then you'll uncheck the block all. Uh, go ahead and create that bucket as is with no additional things and then when you uh, so then it'll pop up like this once you create the bucket and then you can go into your permissions here and you'll need to add this code into your permissions to be able to make it so any one that's logging in uh, or gets the link can basically only read it you don't want them to be able to mess with it online so um, I've set mine just to read only and uh, once you have that stuff set uh, you'll be good to get into your bucket so uh, these are my different pottery examples here and uh, the end product is just quick and clickable you share that link anyone can go in and access it uh, but I'll show you how to do that Okay, so I have placed my uh, project folder from DJI Terra into um, basically my raw folder. And so this is the way that my folders are set up. So you can follow along. Um, but basically, you can go into the project folder, go into your models, keep going down through. Uh, I find working with the PLY to be way more straightforward and simple so I click into the PLY folder and then I'll type star dot PLY and enter and this will find all of my PLY documents next I need to open cloud compare and once it's open you just select all and drag and drop uh, these will not have any RGB values associated with them, but um, I will show how to calculate the a scalar field, assign it, and then we'll use that in a merged LAS as we go forward. Okay, so all the meshes are loaded. You can hold control and click all of the meshes and then hit merge. Once meshes have been merged, you can pan around and zoom in. 
Uh, this data set looks really nice. Uh, we want to keep it that way. In your vertices, uh, first let's do this actually. Sorry. So you go up into Edit Mesh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to sample the mesh. So we want a density. Um, if you've never, if you don't know anything about your data set here, uh, you can make a couple of assumptions. So I recommend zooming in on a uh, uh, sidewalk. Uh, sidewalks are usually four foot, so you just measure across it. Okay, so to get into uh, the measure command, you just go in and we're going to do point picking. So that's in the tools, point picking. Then you choose your distance option. And we're going to go ahead and let it compute it, uh, its octree. So now that we have, uh, you can click in two spots and uh, this is 1.6, so I am just going to assume that this is in meters. I go ahead and delete these meshes inside of this because they're no longer necessary. So shift click and delete. Once it's merged, then you can go ahead and save it as a PLY. Go ahead and do binary, and then it's going to ask you, do you want to convert them, the vertexes to RGB, and you say yes. With that done, I close and I'll open a new instance of Cloud Compare. At this point, you can navigate back to your deliverables folder. Drag in the PLY that you created. And now you'll see that the RGB have been populated. Just want to give a comment that this data set looks really nice. It is nice, sharp, and clean. Um, I'd like to keep it as such so when I'm moving forward so what I will do is I will go to a mesh and then I'll sample points I'm gonna go to a density of 1000 points per meter that'll leave uh, I mean it, it's gonna downsample a little bit I would assume but it's going to do a pretty good job of keeping the detail that's already here now that the sample's done, you can go ahead and zoom in and see what it's going to look like in the final rendered version. Um, to me, I think that this will work just fine, uh, especially if the point size was set a little bit bigger. Um, I'll definitely be able to use this in my Pottery Viewer. And so that is set up, and I'll do a save as LAS. Go ahead and do optimal resolution. Moving on, we need to, now that we have the LAS output, then we need to open up a command prompt. You can type CMD and then you can open this. I run it as administrator, but you don't have to. Um, then you're gonna want a CD for change directory. Find where your Pottery converter is, put the address into your terminal, and hit enter. Then I check to make sure that my directory that I just went into has the Pottery converter ex executable. And now I can use my text editor. So that you won't ever change. This is the input address to the file that you're gonna be using. This is gonna be the output folder that you want your Pottery to go into. And then this will be the name of the HTML document that we'll put onto the web server. Um, everything else in here stays exactly the same. Um, so in my case, I have in my deliverables folder right here, I have a how to, and that's where all the data is going to be generated to. So let's go ahead and copy and paste and let it start indexing. 
and it should be done. Okay, so just make sure and uh, have everything in the text right and you'll see it generate through a couple things and then it will finish. Once it's done, you'll see I had to rerun mine into a different folder. Um, you'll see an HTML, the point clouds will have a bin, a JSON, and uh, another bin. Um, this is exactly what you want to see. And now all that's left is to rename this if you want to and put it onto your server. So I've renamed my folder and then I'm just going to drag and drop it into my bucket that I have on S3 and go ahead and hit upload.